Welcome back to my channel. Today, obviously, I am doing a pen storage video. So I've been doing like a little bit of craft room reorganization. As you know, I've had a washi tape storage video. And did I have another one yet? Uh, sticker storage. So I decided that I am going to do a pen storage video because I needed to revamp my pen storage. Now there will be a video coming up with like my whole craft room redo, but honestly, I just don't have the time to do like to take a couple days and just do the whole thing. So I've been doing it a little bit at a time, which is why you're seeing like these videos here and there. Um, right now I'm using these really cute um, planters, these pink planters from Ikea for my pens. I've been using these for a couple years. I love these. I think they're so cute on my desk, but the problem is they're just kind of not functional functional enough for me. Like when I, cause the top, you know, is wider than the bottom. So there's not a whole lot of space on the bottom for pens and I end up like jamming them in and it's like hard to get them in and out and stuff. So I thought I would needed like a new system. So I went on YouTube to get some ideas, which is what YouTubers do. And I found Amanda Rach Lee, um, her video on her pen storage, and she was using these Deflecto Stackable Cubes. So I thought I would try these out and see if it makes a difference. So I bought four of these. They, um, they hook together. They each come with a little, um, a little thingy that hooks them together. Right, so I, I thought maybe I would put two on the bottom and two on the top and just kind of put them at the side of my desk here. And then I can use these Ikea planters for something else. So these are the pens I use most often, but these are not all my pens. I do have like sets of pens, but first I'm gonna see how many pens fit in these. And then if I have enough um, room, I will add like, either colored pencils or a pen set or something in here. But I have to kind of just feel it out and see how much space I have first. So I'm just gonna do this with you guys. And I'm gonna put, these are my, my Crayola Super Tips, which I don't use all that much, but I do use them for coloring in sometimes and stuff. I'm not really gonna put these in color order. Oops, I'm not gonna put these in color order because I don't really think I need to. Um, I mean, that would be really satisfying. Well, I'll kind of try to keep them in sort of color order because that would be pretty satisfying, wouldn't it? But if I know me, I know that I am going to be putting them back in the wrong place. So why bother, right? Are At you least put the whole thing in color order? No. <laughs> no, I said I was going to try to kind of keep the color oh, order. So but like, on but before, I mean, like, I'm not going to be crazy about it because you know I will never, ever put them back in color order. Are you sticking with just those markers? No. So like, if I, sorry, ah, she knocked down my planner and oh, oh, perfect. All right. All right. I'm not putting them in color order, you guys. Who am I kidding? Okay. Um, so I am going to be doing as many as fit in here. And then I might do some sets of pens that I have. Cause you know, these are not all my pens. If you're new to my channel, this is my daughter, Allie. She Hi. pops in every once in a while. Yep, to annoy her. So it's gonna look like, it's really hard to see. I'll show it to you at the end. Like I'll show you a picture of how it looks on my desk, but it's gonna look like that. When oh, they stack? Yeah. Oh, cool. They hook together. So I don't know if I can get all those super tips in this one little actually compartment. Might. Wow, this yeah. these actually Ooh. fit. Nice. This is so much more space than I even need. Like I got four of these and I, I thought like this was going to take up like half of one. So this is like, fits a lot. It's a lot of stuff. So let's get my Aaron Condren pens, gather these. That's not that. No. The ones no. that look like this. There you go. I don't have many. No, this that won't feel like the whole thing. And then like my mild liners will go in one. So there's these. I think I might have one. Yeah, there's one. 
So are you just gonna leave just that in these? No, I'll probably like add in another one that I have like some of, like maybe the Happy Plant. Should we put Happy yeah. Planner and Erin Condren in the same one? Is that like? <laughs> yeah. That's kind of like, they, they shouldn't play together. <laughs> right? There's Erin Condren. They're gonna stay up. I don't feel like. These well, yeah, ones are but short too. They're gonna Ooh. be yeah. that way, so it's gonna work. They can so, I grab these. Yeah, I'm grabbing these ones, the paper mates. And some mile liners. Put these in here. And yeah, they're not gonna stand up straight until. Like I was gonna do a video where you saw it this way, but I was honestly, it was just gonna take me too much time to rearrange my camera and stuff. So I decided just do it this way. Hope you don't mind, but. Sometimes that's the way it goes. All right, so as you can see, like I'm gonna have tons of space, which is great because I've got like all these other pens. I've got a whole bunch of Arteza pens. I'm taking these other paper mates. Should I put them with the other paper mates or no, because they're markers? Yeah, you can put them all together. It's okay, if they're pens and those are markers. Yeah. Okay. And then we have the Statler. Is that the same as these set. ones? Yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, and the tools. Oh no. These are something different. I'm gonna put these over here. Some over here that I was using. So I think this is gonna feel like really good once it's all organized because you know, Ali's seen me try to shove these pens <laughs> yeah. in here and it's just like it's not making me happy. So I think this is a really good thing. And I gotta tell you, the more space I have, the more pens I want, and now I wanna get more pens, which is bad and good at the same time. Ah. What are these? This is pretty. That is like, well, oh, you could do a miscellaneous kind of a one-off, yeah. So here's the Stadler. I kinda wanna now. keep some colored ones in here. Uh, maybe I should put- This is really satisfying how well this all fit right here. I think I should put these in with these. Mm -hmm. Make room over here. TLC. Oh wait, two you are. Cool. Cool. Oh wait, no, that doesn't go there. Yeah, these are the tool pens. Yeah, That's but this a is a special one. This is a black one. We're only putting colored ones in there. I know she puts up with me. What about these randos? There's a. What else? Flare. Think about. Do you even need these ones? Which, well, that's the thing. Now we have to like figure it out. Now. Together, right? Yeah. Okay, I actually good. Like okay, maybe two. Smell good. Thanks. Okay, so so now you can see. I really can't see. This is gonna be really good, you guys. I'm really excited about this. Um, so I'm just gonna like fast forward, I guess, and put the black ones in. Now I'm gonna save room in this for other color pens. This is gonna be the black ones, so I'll fast forward that. Okay, I'm trying to think this through because I'm wondering, these are probably all ones that I'm not really gonna need to keep out here. I'm wondering though, if I only use these for colored pens and then for, for the black pens that I use all the time, I use these. And then for pencils as well. That might make more sense because when I reach for it, it'll just be like easy to reach in. Not that this isn't easy, but it'll be further away from my desk area and like against the wall. So I think that makes sense to me. So I'll probably keep two or three of these. Um, that way also I can get other pens in here that I wanna put in. Like I have a whole bunch of, um, whatchamacallits, these. Oh. Sharpies. I hope a whole bunch of colored Sharpies and Bic Permanent. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait on these because like I don't use these in my planner, although I do use the Copics sometimes. I should put the Copics in here. These are really good. Um, and then I have like, I have a bunch of sets. 
so like I've got colored pencils. I don't think I'm gonna use this for colored pencils. I think I'm gonna keep the colored pencils in the cases. But like I do have like a fine liner set from Arteza that's markers, like these ones that I think maybe makes sense to take these out of here and put them in here because I never think to use them because they're not around. So let me first put these in and then we'll figure out the rest. Okay, so this is my regular everyday pens that I use for my spreads, like my Pentel Energels, um, the Tombow, my Paper Mate Flare, like the tool pens, any kind of brush lettering, like easy brush lettering pens are in here. And then this is Sharpies and any decorative pens. So like the ones I use when I um, like put them in a picture for Instagram, like the pretty ones that I might use for a prop. They're gonna go in here. Okay, so now I just have to figure out what to do with the rest. I have two whole ones here I can use and I have a bunch of different pens, so I just don't know if they're all gonna fit. I do have these Arteza pens that are like the Copic ones. They're the alcohol-based markers, but they do have this nice case. So I don't know, I might keep these in the case. So I think I am gonna go ahead and put my, my Sharpies in here just to see how much room I will then have. Um, and then I might have room for like another another thing another so i have like copic the copic ones not the copic ones the alcohol base and i also have like colored pencils i know i said i wasn't going to put colored pencils in there but it sure would be easier if i did so let me try this first and see how this goes Okay, so it's the next day, surprise. I actually um, just, I had to go do something and couldn't get back to this. So um, I still have this one remaining um, case and what I decided to do, I know I said I didn't wanna do this, but I'm gonna take these Arteza alcohol-based markers out of this case and put it in this container because um, that's just one less thing I have to reach for if I'm looking for them. So I thought it would be helpful to keep all of my markers in one place. The colored pencils I thought might be a little hard to see in those in these containers. Like it might be a little hard to pick out the colors I want. So I'm going to keep those in the colored pencil case. Hey, Bumble. Hi, Bippy. Do you want to come say hi to everybody? Nope. Okay. Never mind then. You don't see her much because she's always outside. Just laying in the sun and now she has a ball in her mouth and she wants to play. But do you want to come say hi? <gasps> Baby, come here. Oh, there she is. Come here. <gasps> okay, there she is. Oh, it's hard to see. Here's her paws. She is so furry. Like this is the shaggiest she's ever been. She needs a haircut. She won't get one until July 1st. So really looking forward to that because she is a mess. But and she must be hot because it's hot outside. But anyway, there she is. Look how gray she's getting. <laughs> Just like everybody else from quarantine, Bumble's getting grays. All right. All right. You go, baby girl. I'm going to take these markers and put them in here. Hopefully they'll all fit. And then I'm going to show you the results. Should be good. Okay, so this is the back of my desk that you never see. Um, so basically, here's where I film, like this area. I'm just going to stick this up here. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with them. Um, so I film here. This is like my camera, my ring light stand, my camera stand is over here. And so when I film, I'm gonna be reaching over and getting these. It's not ideal because this light here typically goes right here when I'm filming. I'm gonna push these back a little bit. So it's like not perfect, but 
it actually frees up some space on my desk. And over here, let me see if I could do this correctly. Over there are my two pen holders where I can just like reach over and get them. So that's actually really handy. Now, what I'm gonna do is I have these clips for these and I'm gonna clip these together like so. It's hard to do this in on the camera. All right, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna undo like I'm gonna pull these over and clip them. Well, I can do that with you. Okay, so somehow I lost one of the clips. So I have four of these little guys. And these are going to connect them all together, but somehow I lost one. So I have to find it, but I'm going to clip these two together, okay? So it's going to secure them so that they're not, like, going all over the place. And then I'm going to clip, I'm going to take these and clip them to those. So let me go ahead and do that. Well, let me just decide how I want these. So I typically... I'll need these more than anything else. So I probably want that on the bottom because when I'm reaching over it, the light won't be in the way if it's on the bottom. So let me go ahead and do that. Take these two and I'll put these over here. kind of fix them a little bit because like I said I put them in like this so you could see it so I'm just gonna have to jostle them around a little bit but it looks like it'll be fine and then I'm gonna put this one here and this one here and I guess since I can't find the other one of these yet I'm gonna clip these two together Okay, and then I'm just going to take one, this one until I can find the other one, and I'm going to clip it. Let's see. I'll do this side. All right, that's pretty secure, even if I don't find that other clip. It's actually really secure. So it's actually, when there's a little weight to this, it's not real slidey on the bottom either, which is good. You can always put, like, museum putty on the bottom just to secure it to your desk a little bit. But this is a really slippery desk, and it's really not going anywhere. So what do you guys think? I think I like it. I think I like this setup. It's something different. It's going to keep all my pens together and it looks really cool, right? I think it looks really cool. So all the information for that will be in the description box. So check that out. There'll be an affiliate link down there. If you're going to purchase it, if you wouldn't mind purchasing it through my link, I would really appreciate it. And let me know what you think and stay tuned for Doodle of the Day. And I'll see you guys soon for more organizational videos and lots of other stuff. Bye.